Hey, yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing another DC Universe Classic review, and that's of Wave 6, Figure 2, Hawkman. Now, take a look at this bad bird right here. A little information about Hawkman. Hawkman has a very tangled character history, at least in the modern continuity, because he has several origin stories and several different character um, histories. And it got to the point that it was really starting to ruin the character for the readers, because readers would get confused on which origin story or which stories about Hawkman are the official Hawkman stories. So instead of wiping everything clean and starting anew with a new origin story, DC instead decided to connect every single story of Hawkman together. So the story about him being a archaeologist finding Earth metal technology, well that's true. story about him being a Senegarian policeman, that's true also. All the Hawkman stories are connected. They're all 100% part of the modern continuity. So you're probably asking, how does that work? Well, Hawkman kind of has this curse on him that whenever he finds his true love and he faces his mortal enemy and he becomes Hawkman, he eventually will die. And when he dies, he, he gets reincarnated and the same process happens over and over again. He eventually becomes Hawkman, eventually falls in love, and the person that he falls in love with most likely is always Hawkgirl, and he eventually gets killed. So that explains how he's an archaeologist and a Senegarian policeman and a, an ancient, um, part of the ancient pharaoh group or whatever. So it really connects all his origin stories together. Which I actually think is a pretty nifty idea and very bold of DC and the person that wrote that kind of um, twist for Hawkman. At first I didn't like it. I, I kind of just wanted the Senegarian police story. But this actually worked pretty well. So I, I grew to love it and I accept it now. I think it's a good character twist. Uh, Hawkman himself, you either like him or you don't. There's very few people impartial on him. The people that are impartial on him mostly just don't know enough about Hawkman to really like him or hate him. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. At first, I hated Hawkman. I did not understand him. I thought he was a goofy character. I thought he was just one of those lame old 50 reject characters. But once I started to get to know him and actually read some of his stuff, um, I actually liked the character a lot. I think Hawkman's great. I think that they could do a lot with him, but DC just hasn't got many good Hawkman stories out, at least within the last 20 years. So I'm kind of hoping that they'll bring the Hawkman title out and do some good Hawkman stories. With that said, let's get into the figure itself. Um, as you can see here, Hawkman has the classic Hawkman-like look, in the modern continuity at least. Um, if you can tell here, the one grip I have is the belt right here doesn't have the pouches that he has now, and the um, he doesn't have the gloves that he wears now. So obviously this is the more earlier 90s classic look, late 80s, early 90s, which is okay. I mean, the DC Universe classic line isn't geared towards now, it's geared towards within the past 20 years, and maybe even further back. So Hawkman has a very nice classic look on him. Now, he does come with three accessories, and I'll take them all off and show them to you. Um, the first one is his shield right there. It's a very small shield, a buckler, kind of. Um, it's very nice. It has good um, battle-worn damage on it, um, and it has a Hawkman-like symbol there. And the paint apps on it isn't that bad. The paint apps are actually pretty good. He comes with a very standard um, sword right here that can slip right into this little sash right there. Uh, the sword is kind of small, but... Eh, whatever. Um, the sword detail is actually pretty nice because it looks like it's worn and it's battle used. So, uh, the sword is nice, although I never display him with the sword. And last and certainly not least is Hawkman's Mace, which I think is the best of his weapons. Even though I love swords and they're my favorite weapons, Hawkman was always a mace guy for me. Um, his mace is very nicely detailed. Again, it has like battle worn damage on it. You can tell it was used in battle, so. That's pretty good. Um, Articulation-wise, he has the standard uniformed articulation of the DC Universe classic figures. However, his arms are dampened a little bit by the wings. However, you can just move the wings back if you want to put them into some different poses. Uh, the great thing about the wings is look at this. Look at that. The wings can fold out like such. That is pretty nasty. I have to say that's a great feature that they put on the figure. As you can see there, the wings kind of fold out on this little turny joint there, and you can fold them back like so. 
So that's a pretty nifty thing with Hawkman. I like that a lot. Uh, the straps right here, the harness for his wings, as you can see, are actually a separate plastic. It's not a paint app, which I think was very nice. And the mask itself um, is very nicely detailed, as you can see there. So let me just give you guys an overall look. Um, Wave 6 has not come out where I live. I had to get this on Amazon. Bummer, but... Yes, um, once... If you find Wave 6, um, he is going to be part of it. He's along with... Uh, who else? Killer Moth, Superman, his two variants, uh, Captain Marvel, oops, I meant Shazam, and uh, who else? Let me think. Uh, Mr. Miracle. How can I forget Mr. Miracle? I love Mr. Miracle. So there we go. So on to the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Well, the good. Uh, this is a fantastic mold. The, the mold was very nicely done. They really put a lot of attention to detail with this. The wings are a great addition. I'm just going to keep the wings out there like that. L look how badass that looks. And there is going to be a Hawkgirl figure in this, uh, in Wave 9, I think it is. Wave 8 or 9? I think it's 8. 8. Wave 9 has Green Arrow, uh, Black Canary, um, oh, a few other. Wildcat and a few other characters. Black Adam, which I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to Black Canary and, um, Green Arrow. But enough about that. Um, there is going to be a Hawkgirl figure, but look at these wings. The mold is very nice. The weapons and the accessories are great. I really love them, although I wish the shield was a little bit bigger, but I'm not going to complain too much. Um, the only complaint I have with the figure at all is just the paint could have had a little bit more detail. There's no shadowing whatsoever in the paint, except for on the wings. The wings are nicely painted, but they could have put a little black shadowing in there, and they could have put a little bit of a darker brown right in here to shadow, just to give kind of some kind of contrast. That and should have kind of a hairy chest. Hawkman always has a little hair on his chest. So weird. But, on a whole, Hawkman, um, he's my only Wave 6 figure, but I, I'm definitely going to say he's probably going to be the best in the Wave. I'm not sure, I can't commit to that now, but he is one of my favorite figures from the whole entire line. He is absolutely beautiful, and I feel bad doing these reviews on the DC Universe Classic figures, because I keep on saying how great they are, and there's very few bad figures, but that's just the thing, the line is great. I mean, I look at my figures up there, and uh, let me pick up, uh, Harley Quinn, Black Manta, and that's about it, oh, and Red Tornado, those are about the only figures I think that are questionable at best. The rest of the figures are all great, and Hawkman is an amazing figure that's definitely probably one of the best figures from the whole entire line. So, I feel kind of bad, because there's very few figures that I can bash on, and I love bashing things. But, I mean, if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad, and Hawkman is good. Could use a little bit more paint apps. Could use a little bit more paint apps. Uh, there's no quality control issues either. The paint, although not immensely detailed, it, it is nicely painted. It, it, it's... There's no blodges, nothing at all. So, Hawkman, definitely pick him up. You will not be disappointed. Um, if you're not a Hawkman fan, I still suggest picking him up because he's still a good figure. And I suggest reading up out on a little Hawkman because he is kind of a cool guy. Um, it takes a little time to get used to, but he's a badass. He is. He is a badass. Anyways, with that said, I'm going to end the review here. Hawkman, definitely pick him up. Great figure. I was impressed. Uh, with that said... This is Andrew saying peace out for now.